Visitors to the Kruger National Park have been advised to contact the Public Relations Office to ask about the condition of the roads they intend using. And Gauteng's Education MEC, Barbara Creasy, says she has spoken to her economic development counterpart to discuss the problem of taverns or shabines operating near a deep sluit school. I'm Richard Brooks. Visitors to the Kruger National Park have been advised to contact the Public Relations Office to ask about the condition of the roads they intend using. Spokesperson William Mabasa says this after the park experienced heavy rains which have affected large parts of Limpopo and Impumalanga. More than 30 people have been airlifted to safety in Hutsbreit in Limpopo due to flooding in the region. The bridge between the Air Force base and the town has been washed away and several roads are impassable. ACBC's Vusi Twala has more. The hardest hit uh, with the flood, uh, it has uh, been uh, the, the eastern part of the province, which is in Komazi, where uh, we experienced uh, uh, a lot of flooding uh, in the past few days. We have seen uh, uh, learners struggling to pass bridges to go to school. Mm. And uh, we have also noticed uh, that uh, the, the Kruger National Park has also been uh, uh, one of the hardest uh, hit because uh, uh, some uh, uh, roads and bridges were also uh, impassable. Gauteng's Education MEC, Barbara Creasy, says she has spoken to her economic development counterpart to discuss the problem of taverns or shabines operating near a deep sluit school. The newly built Zenzele school was opened yesterday, but it's surrounded by several shabines, although it's against the law to sell liquor within 500 meters of the school. One Shabin is reported to be located on the school land. Creasy says her department will closely monitor the situation. I was in contact with the MEC for Economic Development. They did send their officials out there. We are in court with the informal structure at the moment because it's actually on our, our premises. The Right to Know campaign says it hopes enough time will be set aside to amend the proposed Protection of State Information Bill. The ad hoc committee discussing the bill has released its program. It includes splitting up the 15-member committee to reach as many people as possible. The campaign's Murray Hunter. The current proposed schedule has not set aside enough time, we think, to genuinely consider amendments to the bill. Essentially, they've got meetings and meetings and meetings in the provinces, and then one day in which to make up their mind about amendments to the bill. A protest by leading Internet sites has prompted senior members of the U.S. Congress to withdraw their support for proposed laws against online piracy. They say there is now a lack of consensus. Wikipedia, the online encyclopedia, closed its English language pages for 24 hours in protest at the matter. About a thousand protesters gathered in New York. One of them had this to say. I think it sends the wrong signal to give the government the ability to shut down websites. The web should be a free medium that promotes democracy around the world. When America is trying to convince China and Iran that they shouldn't be shutting down the web, we shouldn't be setting a bad example.